So here we go. So we have we have ironed out some some um, weirdness. But th this is my nice new laptop. It's very very beautiful. I've been I've had it for about ten days, but I've been so scared of it that I haven't used it. And tonight I was like, look, come on, let's get over with, get it over and done with. And as a result, um, I got it on the wrong mic and the wrong. And then of course, as soon as I put the mic on, it screeched on the phone, and I had to sort that. But we're there now, aren't we? And I still have a chipped tooth. So what I was trying to tell you, so you couldn't hear any of that. You just saw me doing this. It's just before I went live, I managed to break the needle of my really, really posh airbrush by taking it out to clean it and then miss aiming, putting it back in and busting, busting the needle. I bent the needle on it. So I decided that I would be um, able to, you know, straighten it by putting it through my teeth and pulling. And all I did was, was chip off a bit of my teeth. Yes, Debs, you can turn the sound on again. <laughs> I think, well, hopefully. Um, so I have a broken needle and a broken tooth now. Um, but luckily, I've got my revolution out. So tonight, brought to you for one time only, until I get my HPC fixed. Luckily, we're not doing too much mad airbrushing tonight. So although, I had to be fair, the way things have gone so far, what, what could possibly... Um, what could possibly go wrong with the rest of it? Uh, we're now on a revolution. I have not... <laughs> Hello, Tiny. Yes, I am breathing now. <laughs> oh dear, you didn't come here for perfection, did you? So I've not named my laptop. Yes, it's good to turn the sound on. So yes, I did exactly what I told you not to do, which is the first time ever, Jane. First time I've ever bent a needle like that, especially one of my posh ones. There is a machine they sell that straightens needles, so now I'm going to go and have to look at it, aren't I? But I probably won't. I'll probably just um, send it off to Iwata and say, fix my elbows, please. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so smoke alarm, needle and tooth. Mm. It feels really weird. Yeah. And we're doing burgers, which I've got no idea how to do, so it's all good. Hello, Maria. <laughs> it's all fine. <laughs> it's all fine so how are we doing how are we doing everybody now we've got over that that massive <laughs> starter drama all is quiet we're no longer having our ears incinerating dogs are no longer crying and uh, and uh, yeah look I've got some cake here so I've got an itty bitty little six inch cake and then an itty bitty little brownie now this is um someone on our group did good evening Linda uh, good evening Laura Laura have you sobered up Laura was drunk texting me yesterday um, goodness knows what's going on there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so sit <laughs> back to the plot. Six inch cake mm -hmm. and a five inch brownie. Someone on our group um, uh, posted up some really, really cool little mini cupcakes that she'd made into brownies, uh, into burgers, and they had a layer of brownie in, and I thought that was so cool. I thought that was so cool because it's just tastier, isn't it, than just a ton of, because by the time, if you do the burger in cake, then you've got kind of like three layers of sugar paste before you even get it going. Good evening, Yvonne. Um, and I thought this was quite a fun way of doing it. So I made a little slab of brownie. Oh, look, here's a burger. You see, we'll do that, and we'll do that, and we'll do that, and we'll get a cool burger. It looks nice, doesn't it? And I think that's yummy. Uh, Karen says, hi, Hannah and team. I, I'm, I'm not seeing a team. Good evening, Candy. A long time since I've seen you, Candy. So, yeah. So, that's our burger. So, and we're going to do some lettuce and we're going to try and do some tomato. We're going to do some cheese. And I've never made any of this before. So, really, I'm going to make it up as I go along. And you lot all have made burgers. So, you can teach me how to do it because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we'll just make it up. So you have a bit of fun with it. Now I've got a working, a working airbrush. It is. So I'm going to go nice and gentle on this one because there's, there's not really a lot to do, is there? Which is good, given I've faffed around for 13 minutes. Good evening, PV. Oh, Nikki's turned 59. Happy birthday, Nikki. Jum, 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 jum. Ah, Karen means all my students. I was thinking like the invisible team I've got helping me, which I had. Should we have a go at it? So, this is our burger bun. This is the top, this is the bottom. 
the bottom we don't need to too much to oh hello i feel like it's a bit big though so should we just sort of carve it down a little bit i'll put this on i'm going to play between these two so i'm, I'm going to sort of come and go with some sheets i decided is the best way to do this but let's try and get the burgers going first shall we so i'm just gonna i think carve up a bit all the way around obviously you don't really have to, maybe i just i'm just doing this because i don't know what to do when i don't carve stuff Whew, and relax somebody start the elevator music Do, 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 do. I think we're going to be really chilled out today because it's just it's just easy, isn't it? But I thought it might be a bit of fun. And also, what's easy might be a bit novel for other people, or there might be just different ways of doing it. We'll see. Hello, Rose. And hello, Carmel. Yeah, I was digging through. I try and find different things to wear and, and fair. But that's the bottom. Might be too good in here today, and I'm just throwing cake on the floor. Special. Um, where should we put that one? And that's the top. So the top one, I'll carve round again, but then I'm going to domify it a little bit. I just wanted to make it a little bit more burger size, but you can oversize them, can't you? We'll flatten off the bottom one that one's nice and flat this one we'll just put a little dome on I'm making this one too small excellent start let me just check them out yeah that's okay so there's our burger and we're just going to carve up the dome off the top What I was thinking would look really cool. What have we got there? Coralini. Oh, what night? No. Yeah, I have a. I, this is this. I I stole it. I didn't steal it. That's that's a lie. One of my students a very long time ago. One of my students when I used to teach one to one in my house. You know, before COVID came along and you were allowed to breathe near other people, um, left it behind, and they also left a spatula behind. And they sent me an email, you know, a little message saying, ooh, I've left my tools behind, you know, in the sink. Would you be able to pass them on to me? And I said, I can put your spatula in the post, no problem at all. I am not putting that in the post. I'd get sent to jail. So, <laughs> so now it's mine. Yeah, I like having big knives, you know, it makes me feel special. Everything I do is with a big knife. I very rarely get on the small knives, do I? In fact, did I bring a small knife? Oh God, here we go. Back to back to trouble again. Okay, so there we go. So I've just carved off the top. So that's the that's the top bun. That's the bottom bun. Who's that saying? I'd love a bit of cake right now. I don't think I ever really fancy cake. So I thought this was a slightly better size, just because this is the size of my burger. You see. Make it like that. So Dawn's asking what knife, so what knife he's got. Um, this actually is an unusual, I don't know what make this is. This says G-E-I-S-S-E-R, guys. Um, you can get big PME ones that are this sort of size, they're lovely. And the other one is um, Vic, Victorinox. Victorinox. Making the cookie monster. I am the cookie monster. <laughs> Um, yeah, Victorinox is also real. So that you can get big PME ones, you can get Victorinox ones. But do you know what? I haven't said that. Um, it took me a long time to get into posh knives. Um, I just used to use bread knives. I still use them if I can't find my if my posh knives are in the washer. Whatever, I still use bread knives all the time. So uh, you don't have to upgrade. Uh, good evening, Michelle. What else have we got going on here? Yes, the big PME knives. They are good. They are really good. I do like, and also when I'm working on camera, you see, I'm quite a long way away from that. I know to, to you I'm not, but if I hold that out, that's how far I am away. So actually it helps me be able to carve it and you still be able to see it. 
If I'm with a little knife, and somehow my hands are so close in you can't see it. It's not that helpful. So shall we just get this crumb coated and, and covered, and then we'll work on his innards. Is that the plan? I've got a very small amount of space left with all this stuff. So, right, crumb coat, oh, favourite bit. So let's just do that. We we'll pop these two over here and do a little filling and a little crumb coating. It feels a little bit too simple, this. I almost feel guilty doing this after like Ninja Panda last week. But that's probably a good thing because they look really effective, don't they, burger cakes? Or any, any food cakes look amazing. And I don't think they're that complicated. So nice little easy wins. So I think we'll do a few because I think it might be quite nice. I think we'll do a few food cake ones for a while, just for a couple of weeks. Now there's that one. Let's just put that one off there for a minute. Put that one on there for a minute. Oh, let's get rid of the, that bit and put that back on. Sorry, I've got to cover his little eyes now. But other than the, the screechy sound, to start with, this is working okay, right? You can see me and everything seems to be in full working order, yeah? Because this is, say, this is my, my new laptop. My special one. Well, not quite round here. Hang on a minute, I've got a funny tail bit. Let's round that off. I'm not putting that on the floor though. Oop. Mucky. Alrighty. I am perfect. Oh no, it's perfect. Oh, good. Everyone, say that's fab. All right, I have high hopes that that's good then. But I'm not even connected to the web by the Ethernet, so hopefully that means it's all wonderful. Okay, so let's very quickly get these covered. Let's put that over there. I even remember the rolling pin. Yeah, Lorraine, I was wondering about doing the Apple Live. I think that would make quite a nice live, actually. I think maybe next week we'll do an Apple. But, like, do it out of cake, you know, do it properly. Because it's very easy to do our sugar paste and just make it up. But I thought we could actually do a little mini. We could do a whole fruit series, couldn't we? Oh, the sugar paste being in the car, it's all warm. Or a melon. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah, let's have a go. Because much as I, I love animals, and you know I'll pump them out all day long, I think it's quite nice to vary it up a little bit, just because otherwise it gets a little bit predictable, doesn't it? So let's have a muck about with some food for the next few weeks. And this, it's only an hour, so they'll get more or less cartoony depending on how much I can do in the hour. Right, tiniest amount of space ever I've got going on here.
So we'll cover the top and the bottom. I don't know, that sort of size. Big ass knife. Oh, it's a bit thick. Hang on a second. Let me just thin it out a bit. <laughs> and the sun will come back. You just you just a little bit behind us. <laughs> I sorted the sound issue. Okay, here we go. Not difficult. This is the top, right? We have made a small hat. Now let's try and pick it up. And just tuck this underneath. Well, you probably could smooth it with an amateur's life, but again, it's not really real to do that, is it? Burgers aren't, burger buns aren't perfect, are they? Now let's go on to the other one. Oh, I just stuck my thumb in it. You see, so well thought out with the double plate. So badly thought out with the sound. Well, let's just do the underneath. Same again. Where's my icing sugar on? Ooh, mice. Wait a minute, what's going on? So yes, thank you. I love animals too. Not this afternoon. My, ah, my cat's come running in with a mouse. Uh -oh. I follow a page all about mice. I love them. So if you see mice starting to turn up later in the year in my work, it's because this amazing guy has built them like a whole hobbit city in his garden and they're allowed to live freely and he feeds them peanut butter and they're so beautiful little woodland mice good evening in it Being vegetarian is okay with this burger because it, it's made of brownies, so we can get away with it. Um, right, what am I doing? Okay, here we go. Well, this is the bottom. So play the same again. Just leave that there, and I'm just again going to pick it up and tuck it underneath. Right, let me just, um, I'm going to just give this a tiny bit of a clean down because I don't really want all of that onto my burger. So there's one. Now we can play this two ways. We can either airbrush these first and then build up all the other bits, or we can airbrush them later. I think probably it's best to get the airbrushing out of the way and then we can build all the bits up. Get off. Right. Okay. So, dead easy this. Your burger bun is a fade up 
from a lightish yellow brown to like a golden tan color so she assuming that my airbrush is working if we start with a mix a little bit of yellow so okay so yellow on your airbrush is really really very strong color so it's a dot of yellow I've actually got brown in here and a dot of autumn leaf which is just like an orange color so a bit of yellow and orange And we'll do that all round the top and a little bit round the bottom, and then we'll darken up. So let me see. Lisa, um, I've had this forever and ever and ever in a day, and um, I think it was from TK Maxx forever ago. I had some idea um, that at the end I would put it on it and it would look beautiful on like it, you know, like how they serve it in the pub. That's my thinking. Whether or not it'll happen like that, I don't know. The way things are going tonight. <laughs> anything could happen right let me just get some roll i just want to test this color and make sure it's not too dark um i think we'll do the top first because the top's plain i want to do a little bit of detailing on the bottom hang on let's just check that back there let's get the top Um, yeah. So this is a yellow and an autumn, yellow and an autumn leaf. Okay, and I'm just going to go very gently round. I can cover the whole bun like this, and then we're going to fade it dark at the top. But this is just the bottom of the bun, and then obviously over the top where it's more toasted, it's going to go a bit darker. So it's funny because I have to overdo it so you can see it. The camera doesn't pick it up nearly as much as it's um, on here. Hey, this is a walking apart compared to the other. So at the bottom is going to be slightly darker. The, the top is going to be slightly darker. So that's one. Let me just do the other one. I can poke it afterwards if I need to. But this one, I'm just going to do that colour all the way around. Because it's the bottom of the bun, it doesn't have the dark part on the top, it just has the lighter part. You can airbrush across the middle if you want, you won't see it, but you can do it so you know it's done. So that's that one. So let's go back on this one. So this was yellow and autumn leaf, or yellow and orange. And now I'm going to throw in another few drops of brown. This is chroma brown, okay, so it's it's... It's that brown that's made of a yellow base. What if you're doing this with other browns, just watch it that you're not going to end up with like a brick red. You have to be a bit careful with your brown. If you have got a brick red brown, you need to throw in some yellow, okay? I see there's got questions that I need to answer in a minute. So I'm just toasting the top of the bun now. Again, I'm going to overdo it so you can see it. So the, you know, the, uh, the lighter bit is underneath, and now I'm just kind of posting the top. You see it's starting to get shiny, that's my warning not to carry on. I'm going to, I'm going to push it a tiny, tiny bit just for the time, but normally you need to just stop a little bit. And there's the top of your bun. This has got to be the fastest cake in the history of cakes, I swear. Let's just go back onto the other one. And I'm just going to give it the tiniest tickle, just to give it an idea that some bits are slightly more toasted than others. I'm leaving quite a lot of light bits though. Again, I'll give it a cheeky bit on top. Whoop. 
Okay, look at that. It's cool, isn't it? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. You can't argue with that, can you? It's easy. It's shiny. Uh, right, let me just see what their questions are. Use any edible oil? Oh, yeah, local tree. We've gone from local tree surgeons to edible oil. So I don't know. I, I don't know quite where that conversation has gone. Sorry. If anyone is needing me, please ask the question again, so I can see it. So these need to dry a little bit now. So we'll put that one over there. So look, there's our burger bun. It's going to sit on there. Bosh. It's good, isn't it? Now we can we can sort out the edges here a little bit. So I just I just did it as it was, but if I had, I need a oh, I've got bits of burger everywhere. Here. Hang on. Ugh. Okay, but you can, you know, we can nibble off the edges of this. I was just mushing about with it. Ooh, try not to lose my hand. It's Tony in the house tonight. It's lost there. Oh, Mucks around with knives. Obviously, because it's browny, it's like harder on the outside and softer in the middle. So I thought it might be nice just to just give it a bit more edging. This is the ch absolutely the cheats way of doing it, the proper way with to make it look hyper real and all the rest of it. But I, I was too smitten with the idea that you had a brownie in the middle of your cake. Oh, and that's awesome. Wait a minute. Uh, I joined late and thought, God, that cake's a bit rough. It is. Hey, I wouldn't put anything past me. <laughs> no, this one's a brownie. He's allowed to be that colour. Right. So we've got the bottom. Now let's have a look at our picture. So on our picture, we've got that one, and then we've got that one. Okay. And then we've got the top one, but we need to put some exciting things on top. So firstly, it's a cheese. Then it's a tomato. Then it's some lettuce. And then it's the sprinkly bits on the top. So if we put that on there and put that on there, and we do some cheese. I was mucking about this earlier because I was trying to get the sugar paste to melt. So I did prep a tiny bit. What time is it? 37. So we've got to make some melty cheese. Whoops, I'm going to sit myself down. God. Hello, Sarah. Yes, Jeffrey, love the idea of using the brownie. I think I was inspired to say I didn't come up with it. It was someone in our in our group. Okay, anyone who's new who's lurking, um, the Cake Illusionist Sculpting School community. Um, I'm just putting some yellow in this, but if I'm right about yellow, it will come out too harsh. So I've got some orange here as well. I was trying to get the sugar paste to melt. I had lighters underneath it because I think if you put sugar paste in the microwave, it will melt. And I was wondering whether you get that really nice drippy cheese. But with a lighter, it doesn't really work, and I've got no way of running off to um, use microwaves. So I'm just going to mix a bit of yellow and a bit of orange. Just to try and soften off the yellows. or The yellow ends up just minion yellow. You've got to always throw some orange through to get that kind of more. Oh, I've got my spammer back. Spammer! You know you've made it when you attract spammers. Mr. Spammer, would you like to come and make some cakes with us? I know you're a robot, really. Wouldn't it be amazing if they responded? <laughs> oh, cool, would that be? We bring them, bring them over. They give up their life of crime and spamming and become cake makers instead and live an honest living, if not a tiring one. Clear off, spammer. Flaming spammers. <laughs> Sod off, robot. <laughs> right, so you see this yellow softening down now? 
It's amazing how much orange, and that runs through all your cakes, okay? Whenever you think, unless you're literally doing minions. If you're doing minions, then fine. Anything else that's supposed to be yellow isn't. It's just a, like a softer orange. Okay, so I'm just going to roll it. Oh, not you. Not you, Jane. Oh, maybe. Maybe he is. Right, I'm just rolling. <laughs> My cheese has got bits in it. It's, just, it's one of them special, you know, posh cheeses. <laughs> okay, so there's some cheese. Right, but let's try. If we, if we start pushing it, I want to get it to stretch so that it looks like it's running a little bit, you know. Not too much. I don't want a hole in it. Now I've got holy cheese. Good morning, Tony. I was just asking whether you were on here because we were talking about big, big knives and Tony's managed to um, cut herself really badly on a big, big knife. So you can see I'm just stretching out because I want it to look a bit like it's dripping, so I'm creating the drips. So I was messing around earlier to see if I could get it to actually melt like cheese. I reckon you probably could. I think if you put it in the microwave, it will start melting. But I haven't got a microwave in this room. So I was messing around with the lighter. What did you do with your Sunday? I stood under, <laughs> I stood there <laughs> trying to set fire to sugar paint. As you do. Right, I don't want this. Hang on, let me just bring this back. You can't see that, can you? There. So let's try to try this again. I'm, also, I'm going to gather it up because I don't want it to be so big that you can't see. And again, I don't really care what happens in the middle because you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to try and get this cheese to muck about down, going as if it's sort of like oozing off a little bit. I'll move that there. Can you see it better? No, my angle's rubbish. So again, I don't care what's happening here. You will not see it. It's just about what's happening. Good evening, Michael. Ooh, lots of boys. You're not a spammer, are you? <laughs> Sorry. Julie, does a chef's talk um, melt it, like properly, like make it runny and, and stuff? Because I've only got a lighter in my house and it, it didn't seem to have enough um, power on it to do it. I'm just going to try something which I'll probably regret. I want you to be able to see it from the side a little bit. So, hello, Jay. Loads of people with us tonight. So, there's some cheese. Simple, simple cheese. Then we've got tomatoes. I'm going to pop that over there again. All right, tomatoes are fun, aren't they? I've got a picture of a tomato. <laughs> are you guys in the right place? <laughs> They're not real burgers, you know. Let's have a look. So I'm going to make some tomatoes. I've got a lot of muck going on here in the bag. So they want to be reasonably thick, don't they? How many do we want? Should I make three? And then put them at the edges again. Whoops. There we go. I love cheesecake and I love cheeseburgers and I love cake. There's three. All right, now I've got my picture of a tomato. Okay, so medium ball tall. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to create in these shapes. So we're going to have, you can see that, can't you, yet? Yeah. We're going to have one in here, and I'm going to push this down. The reason why I'm going to push this down is because I'm going to fill it with piping gel. I've watched someone do this, so I know it works. 
Whether I can get it to work or not is another thing. It's quite rough because tomatoes are very textured, aren't they? I'm just creating pools. Now, I think when I watch someone do it, they cut all the way through. But to me, if you cut all the way through, then what's going to stop your piping gel just oozing out the other side? So I think it's better to create dents like this. So let's do three of those. I'm going to chuck onto my big ball tool, see if it makes slightly less mess. There's one. Also speeds me up. There's two. There's three. Yeah, super white's um, a pain. I'm, I've got the super white here in case I find some reason for it. There's one. Again, this is total vanity, right? You will not see the middle of these in your burger. You just see the edges. But assuming that you're going to give this to a client and they're going to lift off the top of the burger, it's quite nice, isn't it, to have something underneath it that's exciting. Okay, so, uh, gel. Paint, dust, colour, stuff, water, paintbrush. Let's get some colour onto these. Red, yellow, mixed together. So I've got red paint, um, red dust, yellow paint, water, because I want this to be quite watery. And I'm just going to start painting them up. So when I'm making fruit or veg or anything, I paint it. I find it you'll get a much more realistic thing if you start with white and you work the colours in. <laughs> Michael, one, we've had a spammer up the top trying to get us to go look at something. And two, you're a boy. And no offence, but um, boys don't normally hang out with me or my, my crew here. So yeah, as long as you're not going to... Um, Tell us to go to some weird YouTube link or try and sell us Bitcoin. You are very welcome to hang out and watch me muck about with sugar. So, yeah, as I was saying, sorry, I'll stop. I'll, I've digressed again horribly. I do that. Um, if I'm making edible thing, edible fruit and things, I prefer to start from white and then add the colour in. Because if you look like here, look, there's so many different colours going on in there. So many different colours. Ladies, leave him alone. <laughs> um, that it's easier to sort the colours out by um, painting. So all the fruit I do that, um, that you've seen is all done in white and then coloured in. Because then I can control how much red I want, how much orange I want and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on tonight. It's all gone funny here. So, lighter in the middle. I've just got one more. Oh dear. Good job we're not doing piglets tonight, isn't it, guys?
<laughs> I'm slightly worried where this conversation is going. I would trust you to sort him out. What time is it? 10 to. Ah. So you can see, here we go. Darker red around the outside. A slight fear of how I'm going to get this on the cake. I've gone over there. Hang on, let me move it back. Right, let's. <laughs> Wait a minute, are there any. <laughs> I'm there any actual sensible questions here. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, piping gel. Oh, dearie me. This is piping gel, okay? Great stuff. Can you see it? Look at that. Yeah. That's piping gel. If I just mix a tiny bit of yellow in with that. She says trying. Ah, I've got it all over my hands. Don't get it out with the same pencil that you pencil paintbrush training if we put a bit of yellow in we can then use it to make that icky stuff that's in the middle here look way too much yellow helpful what did i tell you about yellow so all that kind of jelly that goes in the middle of tomatoes can go on here um ladies i'm just going to leave you to sort those boys out so i'm just building up the jelly Obviously, these are done at massive speed. We spend a bit of time doing this. It looks really, really lovely. And then obviously we want to just pop in a couple of nice pips. Oh dear. Right, so let's put in... I just want to build up a bit more of these three. One, two, three, whoopsie, Much lighter bits. I'm just going to add these details to the one, so we're not going to be able to see it. So let's just just to show you how I'm just wanting to build up. Trying to get the details in at speed is not easy. And then we'll just pop in a few of those little seeds running around the top. Oh, it's gone off there. 
Ready? Yeah, I thought, um, Linda, I thought so. That's why I'm laughing. Bunch of, <laughs> bunch of middle-aged women like us can sort it though, huh? So there we go, look at that. Obviously, it really instantly needs time to dry. You get the idea. I'm just going to give them a bit more. To get them time to start dry, they come up lovely. So let's bring our bring our burger back. Just a second. Okay, what? Two. Whoopsie. And there's a three. Okay, so there we go. Um, obviously, you need to finish all three. Oops, okay. And the last one we need. That looks pretty, huh? Um, they look better when they dry, so you need to give them a bit of time to dry. So again, let's pop that over there. And we need to make some lettuce. Wait a minute, just clean this down again. Oh, so lettuce is all gonna go with. Ah, one plus round. Yeah, this piping just stuff's really, really sticky, but very, very good. It's a shame Jen's not here tonight. She'd sort this out. No, I, I wouldn't use... I've seen a couple of you saying about sesame seeds. Do you know how much of a massive allergy they are? Sesame seeds are one of the biggest allergen groups going. So I wouldn't put sesame seeds anywhere near... anywhere near your Scotsy cakes. A number of people who are allergic to those is scary. Oh, let me just put that there. Oh, it's so mucky now. Sorry, guys. All right, so to make lettuce, you need to just go as thin as possible. And then I've got here a couple of veiners. Literally as thin as you can get it, okay? Let me just get my lettuce I'm going to try airbrushing it. You could just cover it green, but lettuce is sort of, it's quite dark green on the outside and then light green in the middle. So if you did colour it green, you'd be sort of stuck with one, one tone. But I've got a couple of veiners. Yeah, so it's not a good idea to use a uh, real sesame. Yeah, I'll say it again. Okay, so I've got this one, and I've got this one. Oh, we've got trouble tonight, ladies. I did tell you tonight was going to go silly, wasn't it? So let's have a go. So we're going to do a big old game of ignoring. So if Jim was here, she could sort it. What a shame. Where's Jeffrey? We like Jeffrey. So that works really well, doesn't it? Um, I've forgotten the name of this plant. It's um, the really tropical, uh, I guess something or other. It's a really big tropical plant. Okay, and then I can go in with my smaller veiner, just around the top. If you haven't got veiners, the other thing that works really, really well 
is crushed up tin foil. You get some really lovely effects. So instead of running out and buying something, have a look in your collections because I, I guarantee you've got something in there that will work beautifully. Doesn't that be nice? Whether I can get it off the board or not, I don't know. So I'm quite happy with that. And then we just want to give it a tickle on the airbrush. So I've got a green here. I'm going to hope to hell like it's the right green. I suspect I'm going to put a bit of yellow through first. Oh, we're talking about allergen labels. Um, I put a bit of yellow and a bit of green through, and we'll see if we can get a bit of a airbrush lettuce. Gemma, go sort him out, please, and Jay. Okay, so I've got a green, but I always find that most people do the wrong the wrong shades of green, and it's very difficult to get the right shade of green. Normally, straight out the bottle doesn't work. So if I mix some yellow and some green, and probably a touch of brown, but let's see, I'll see what I get. <laughs> That's not too bad. It's probably the, the hardest thing to do is to get a proper decent shade of green that isn't too bright and too dark and all the rest. It's not too bad, is it? So we're going to go around the outside. We're going to try and leave the centre of the vein lighter. If we can. And then the darker bits are at the top here. Whoa, I'm going to watch that green because it's getting too day glow. If it does get too bright, then jump onto your brown and just knock it in with a bit of brown. And you'll take the, the heat off it. Green is really quite a difficult colour to master. Like, obviously, you know, depending on what green you're doing. But they'll always tend to come out too kind of like cartoony, fake green. Oh, where they gone? So I'm going to throw in another couple of drops of brown. And I'm, I'm just going to knock in those edges. You see, I don't know if you can see that on camera, it's straight away. It's just a more realistic shape. So it's something I see a lot in all, in all, everything we do, but especially food, is people let it go to a really, really unrealistic green. So if you're going to play this game, do try and work on getting that green slightly more realistic. So that'll do. I probably have to make a couple of those. Just stop. <laughs> stop talking to them. Right. I want to. I really like my tomatoes now, and I feel a bit slightly sad that they're going to be um, eaten by this this lettuce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off. I know they're going to be eaten by the buns, so really this is very silly, but you know, that's fine. I'm going to um, try and pick this up. Pop my burger back on. And then I'm going to try and put this on. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut into my hand, which I shouldn't do. I want to try and get this as much around as I can. So I'm trying to, I'll bring this around to you guys. I'm trying to wrinkle this up as much as I can. Pulling in a wrinkle, 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 wrinkle. We'll make a second one, we've got time, have we? No. But we will. Let's quickly make a second one. We might as well do it right. Um, bit more of that.
<laughs> Let me just do a second one and take a couple of seconds. Um, again, it's got to go as thin as possible, it won't work. Whoopsie. So, playing the same game. Brownie, it's putting brownie over everything. Simple. I'm absolutely racing at time, time now. Dear Michael, if you actually had a clue what I did for a living and what my cakes actually look like for real, you might be slightly less cocky and slightly more interested. But there we go. Okay, let's put the second one on. There's too much sugar paste here. Hang on, let me just cut a ton of it off. I'm just trying to get it really, really wrinkled. In an ideal world, if I had lots of time, I'd do several layers of this because it's the layering of the um, the layering that looks really nice. Okay, so Caroline, the green. Um, I've got a leaf green here, but that would just come up way too green. So I've mixed in a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown. Never, I, I've never found an occasion where you've got the the green out the bottle and it's been right. I'm going to just squish this down a bit. You have to really work at making your greens natural. They're, they're a lot more brown than you imagine. I'm, going to, I'm just trying to get it so you can see it from the side. Looking good. You have to ignore my two naked. If I bring it around this way, there's the tomato that's done. Well, I'm slightly bereft because actually, as soon as we put this bun on the top, you won't be able to see it. Shall I have one slightly hanging hanging out? Just so you can see it. Oh, it's stuck to my hands. All right, looks nice. Uh, tomato looks, but yeah, the piping gel is good. I'd say just have a look at them when they dry. They're not dry yet, but have a look. The green from fractal is not too bad. We probably need something with it. Yep. It's probably it's the biggest mistake I see across everything, across like even when people do animal cakes when they're doing grass. They do it what they think grass looks like rather than actually what grass looks like. It's green is not an easy um, colour to muck about with. And actually, if you ever did competition level, it's one of the major things they will pick you up on is your shade of green, especially for grass and stuff. If I go this side, you can't see any of the cheese. Okay, I'm just a bit concerned about how much rubbish I've got in my hands. Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my god, look at the size of it. <laughs> Massive. 
I'm just trying to squish it down. Okay, so last thing, um, but not least. Ooh. Last but not least, you just need some sesame. Oh, I really want to fan. You need, just need some sesame seeds on the top. So a tiny little bit of uh, yellow. Where's my yellow? <laughs> massive. I was thinking it would come up quite small, but it's massive. A, a tiny bit, just to take off the white. You don't want it to be pure white. And we just make some sesame seeds for the top. It's a whopper. Dead easy, dead easy. Such an easy cake to do. I'll, I'll, I'll show it so it goes on a minute. And then it's just pinching, putting, pinching, putting. Whoops. Ah! I don't really want to put water on. Oh, am I going to have to? Last thing I want to do is put water on the top, but it's got airbrush on it. Okay. Dick. Thank you. Uh, Laura, this is just a six inch. This is a six inch cake with a five inch brownie in the middle. But it's still come up massive. I can't do small cakes. Come on, you know that. Oh, what a shame. I was thinking that we got some new friendly people, especially boys. I like that. We got idiots instead. We've got nothing better to do. You'd think they'd be had something to do on a Sunday evening. Hang out with their families or something. All right. Dick, I hope you've got. I hope you've got all night to watch me do this. It's such an easy cake, but you know I think it's really effective and make a really nice birthday cake or something for someone. I'll do a couple of more. Wait, I'll do a couple of more of these because otherwise it'll make me weird. And then you guys wanted an apple, apple next week. Okay, I'm just, I've got about 10 more. We'll do about 10 more. Oh. And then I'll try and show you it sideways. Because at the moment you sort of see it from the top. Bit of a funny angle on this one. There wasn't really a right way of doing it because if I did it sideways, on you wouldn't be able to see the details going on it. Ah, I missed that one. How's that looking? I keep, I keep dropping them off. It's, I'm worried about putting too much water on because if it runs, it will run the airbrush. Get on. All righty. What do you do with the cake after a demo? Bin them normally. If I've just made them fresh, and sometimes I give them to my boys' schools. But they're so fast and, and, you know, they're not got proper, they're not done properly. So I don't, I don't really like giving them away because it's like my work on speed rather than quality. It's just more demoing effects than anything else. All right. Are you ready? Look at the size of this thing. Ready? No! <laughs> there we go, look. Ah! Massive. 
There we go. There we go, burger, burger in an hour with a brownie bun. Trippy cheese, lettuce, cool little tomatoes. Should we cut it? Hang on, let's have a look. Ready? I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how to do this, do I? Shall I stand up? All right, ready? Let's go, shall I go straight through? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't normally cut them, do I? Oh, how cool does that look? Maybe I should do an epic cutting at the end. There we go. Right. Jay and Michael, I'm going to put you two on the naughty step. The rest of you, absolutely lovely hanging out with you. And I will see you next week. Um, get on the group. Let me know what we're making. And we'll see you next week, okay? I'm going to go. See you later. Take it easy.